What up, what up? Welcome to another Take Off Tuesday, baby. Come on, you got to say it with me. Come on, let's get it. If you didn't start Monday off the way you wanted to, today is the day to start your week off with a get, with a bang. Guys, I'm pumped up, guys. This is this is part three of this series, and then we're going to do it to be continued, and we're going to come back with the series a few weeks from now. But peep this. On episode one, we talked about taking action. On, your, on our goals. Are you listening? We talked about why it's so important to take action on our goals. If you don't take action on your goals, nothing's going to happen for, happen for you, right? So we talked about taking action. Then on part two, we talked about giving up on how... Not, first of all, the whole statistic was that 92% of people do not accomplish their New Year's goals. Only 8% of people accomplish their yearly goals, right? So the second part we talked about the reason why a lot of people don't accomplish their goals is because they give up. They simply give up. So in the last video, I talked about, I just simply talked about a reason why you shouldn't give up. You got people looking up to you. You may have your kids looking up to you. You may have your mama looking up to you. You may have your daddy looking up to you. You may have your uncle looking up to you or your friends looking up to you or your niece looking up to you. Like people are looking up to you. So it's important that you do what you got to do, right? So we talked about those things, guys, and this is part three, guys. You already see the title, no need for me to go into it. But peep this, guys, I got a quick story. I'll never forget when I first got my car, right? You know, when, we, when I first got my car, man, it was crazy because when I first got my car and everything, you know, that was my first time I was really driving and everything. And I'll never forget, you know, I think my dad sent me to the store, and the store was up the street. He said, Terrell, go get some, it was some type of groceries, or, you know, go get some juice or something from the grocery store. Something like that. And I said, sure, fine, I'll do that, Dad. So I drive to the store, I pick up the juice, I go to the cashier, she says, hey, is this, hey, how you doing, Terrell? And I said, I'm doing wonderful. How in the world are you doing? And she said, I'm doing fine. I said, that's great. I said, this is the only, the, all, the, all I have is the juice, and she scanned it, and I gave her the money, right? I gave her the money, and she gave, and, you know, she cashed me out, she gave me my receipt, and I was on my way. So I get outside to the parking lot, and I go to my car, and I got the keys to my hand, and I press unlock on my car door, and I open the door, and the, and the door wouldn't open. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I just got this car. Like, I just got the car. Why is the car not working? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Why in the world is the car not working? So I'm tripping out, man. I'm literally like, I'm pressing this thing so much. Like, I'm pressing the remote so much, my thumb's starting to get hard. Like, the car would not unlock. And I'm, like, and I'm just tripping out. I'm like, I just got this car, man. Like, what else can go wrong? And then a light bulb. I had that, don't you know how that light bulb in the cartoons happened? You know, like the duh moment. I felt like a light bulb come over my head. Like, duh. I had a light bulb moment. I was like, duh. And I said, oh, my goodness. That's why the car, your car's not unlocking, Terrell. I'm at the wrong car. <laughs> like I was literally at somebody else's car, aiming my keys. I was I was at somebody else's car that looked just like mine, and I'm aiming my keys at it like James Bond before his uh, movie starts. Like I'm just at, aiming it just like this. I'm just, mm, mm, why won't this car unlock? Like I'm just pressing a hundred times, looking stupid as heck. And peep this, guys. Once I realized I was at the wrong car. I went to my car, I went to my car, and I pressed the unlock button, and it worked, and I got right in, right? Like, as soon as I got to the right car, as soon as I found the right car, I went to my car, I pressed unlock, and that bad boy opened. I was able to get in, the car unlocked, and peep this, guys. The reason why 92% of people do not accomplish their New Year's goals is simply because they're at the, they, they, they're at the wrong car, meaning they hanging around, they cannot unlock their greatness because they're at, their, they're at the wrong car. They're hanging around the wrong friends. They're in the wrong environments. People that you know, it's a saying like, you are who you hang around, right? And the, the reason why 92% of people do not accomplish their goals is because they don't hang around people who are trying to accomplish their goals. Come on, let's say it with me. The reason why a lot of people do not accomplish their goals, the reason why 92% of people don't accomplish their yearly goals is because they don't hang around people who are trying to accomplish their yearly goals. Are you listening to what I'm saying? That is completely crazy. Like it's not a secret, like you have the answer. You like we all know. Like you like come on, man. You we all know, man. Like it, you have to hang around the right people. 
if you want to be successful, right? You have to get yourself in the right in the right environments if you want to be successful. And peep this, I learned that when I first went to college, I never forget one of my homies, you know, because I hang around all positive people. One of my homies, when I first got to college, he said, all right, when you go to college, don't just take classes. Join, like, like your, your major is marketing. Join, like, a student organization that has to deal with advertising and marketing. And I did that, right? And it was one of the best experiences I ever had in my life. And peep this, I was scared at first, right? I wasn't comfortable doing it at first, but once I put myself in that environment, like it's crazy the things that I've learned. Like I spoke, like we did an internship with uh, this food catering business that in the Detroit Lions Stadium called Levy Restaurants, and I was able to speak to them. We presented a whole presentation. You know, it was crazy, man. I had such a great time with them, man. And, and I have all these, and I have, and I know, it, and I have everybody's phone number. Like I built the connect. I, I'm just around. I just try to hang around a lot of successful people, and that's what success is all about. Just hanging around people who are trying to accomplish their goals. It's not rocket science. You know the answer. Are you listening? You can unlock your greatness, but you can't unlock your greatness hanging around Pookie. Are you listening? You can't unlock your greatness hanging around Ray Ray. Are you listening? You cannot unlock your greatness hanging around these type of people, right? So you can't unlock your greatness hanging in the wrong environments. You can't unlock your greatness being on the being inside the club Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like take a day off. Like goodness gracious. Like people, I don't mind you having fun. You grown, do what you want to do. But if you want to get to the top. <laughs> You gotta make the necessary sacrifices. I have fun too, but peep this is about priorities. Like, I do this more than I hang out. I do this more than I have, you know, uh, more than I uh, relax. Like, like I, because, because I'm trying to get to the top. Meek Mill says, this is, the pri this, is the pr this is the price of being great. Are you listening? This is the price of being great, guys. So you have to do your part. You have to do your part. You have to get in the right environments. You have to start hanging around the, raw, the right people. Right? You had to start hanging around the right people. Lupe Fiasco said this, and I'm going to get out of here. He said, this was so deep. Lupe said, Lupe Fiasco said, form follows function. Are you listening? Form follows function. Meaning, if you function properly, things will form themselves. Meaning, if you do what you're supposed to do, the things that you want to happen will happen. Why? Because you did your part. And I'm challenging you to do your, do your part. I'm challenging you to unlock your greatness. Today, come on, say it with me. Today, you will unlock your greatness. Say it with me. Today, you will unlock your greatness. Say it with me. Come on. Today, you will unlock your greatness. Like, keep repeating, speaking into the existence. Today, you will unlock your greatness. Like, today is the day, but you're not going to unlock your greatness if you keep hanging around the wrong people and if you, keep being, if you keep going to the wrong environments. Now it's time to buckle down, start hanging around the right people, start getting to the right environments, start going to conferences, start learning about your craft, start doing everything that you're supposed to do to get closer to your goals. Because guess what? If you don't, you're gonna fall in that same statistic. 92% of people do not accomplish the new year goals. And goodness gracious, I don't wanna be one of them. I wanna be in that 8%. So I challenge you to be in that 8%. Thank you guys for tuning in to another Takeout Tuesday video. If you like what you saw, please like the video. Please share Please share the video. Please comment on the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, man, I love you guys. Peace.